Hi everyone and welcome to Bullet Dress Designs. Um, today I'm going to be doing the seamstress tag. Now I actually saw this tag a few years ago by Whitney Sews. And I just recently saw Whitney's video and I know there is the a seamstress tag that's going around by Holly Sews, the one that everyone's doing. And so I wanted to kind of combine both tags together because both questions on both tags are actually very similar. I also wanted to do this tag because my YouTube channel is actually fairly new and I wanted my subscribers to get to know me. So, without further ado, let's get into the question. Question number one. Who are you and how old were you when you first started sewing? My name is Melen Wala. Uh, you can call me Nana. I am married. My husband is in the army and we are stationed here in Korea and we have two girls. I started sewing when I was 28 years old and I'm 35 years old right now. When and why did you start sewing? I started sewing because I wanted to make my own puletaha. What is a puletaha? A puletaha is a dress that we wear back home in the islands, which is a two-piece dress with a top and a bottom, which is a skirt that goes all the way down to your ankles. What was your first project and proudest make? My first project was a puletaha that I made using the macaws, one of the macaws pattern. I don't remember which one it was, but um, yeah, there was a lot of things that went wrong with making this. And because of that, I decided that I wanted to draft my own patterns. My proudest make would have to be the first dress that I drafted using my own measurements. And the fabric was just my practice fabric. It was not a fabric that I was going to use, but it was definitely my proudest make because I uh, drafted it myself and it actually fit perfect on me. What is your most disastrous make? First one, which is my recent one that um, I showed you guys in my last video. I don't know if it's a dart, if I have to adjust the bust because um, the, my friend does have a fuller bust. That is my most recent disastrous make. This one is actually a dress that I made for my sister. I don't know what went wrong. I'm thinking it was probably just the back and the zipper. And now that I look at it, it's actually a very easy fix that I can just... This one I actually made for a friend. And it was actually a perfect fit, but she did have bigger hips and I really didn't take that into account which you should always do so I'll prop, I'm gonna finish it this is another disastrous make I don't know what happened here and nothing's wrong with having um, a disastrous make because seriously um, you, that is actually where you learn um, from your mistakes and that is how you become a better sewer so moving on what store do you buy most of your sewing supplies now, there's actually a lot of places that I buy my sewing supplies if they're cheap then I'll buy them I have purchased a few sewing supplies from Hobby Lobby from Amazon eBay PGM dress forms and there's another store that I used to go to in Texas and I bought a lot of sewing supplies there too but I do not remember the name what is one sewing item that you collect I can't say that I really collect any sewing items however I do have a lot of scissors I have about hmm, I have about 12 pairs which is probably not a lot to some but um, yeah I do have a lot of scissors and it's funny because I just told my husband a few days ago that um, there is another scissors that I want to get so yeah what are your favorite sewing items my favorite sewing item would have to be most definitely have to be my dress form I love this dress form it has a collapsible shoulder so that you can easily take off the garment and put on the garment um, it's also adjustable um, which is perfect for when you are hemming a dress or a skirt you don't need to sit on the floor and do it. You can just sit on a chair and hem the dress. My little um, mini scale dress form is actually another one of my favorite sewing items. 
what is your favorite place to go fabric shopping? I don't really have one because back in 2012, we went to Samoa and I bought so much fabric there. I bought five yards of, of every fabric and made so many dresses. I made so many skirts and I still have the fabric and I am trying to try to get rid of them so my husband can buy me some new fabrics. However, um, there is a place that my sister-in-law took me to. It was in California. It's called Island Fabrics, which is a perfect place because of the bullet tahas that I sold. There's another place that I just recently found on Instagram, which is called Promenade Fabrics. They are located in Louisiana. And oh my goodness, I want to go there when we go to Texas. I need to stop by there and check out their fabrics. I think they have a variety of all kinds of things. What is your most used pattern? So like I said, my first bullet taha that I made, I did use a pattern. And ever since I made that dress, I have been drafting my own um, dresses ever since. However, I am thinking of using the ready-made pattern. What is your most dreaded sewing task? It used to be sleeves, but not so much sleeve. I actually um, love doing sleeves. My most dreaded sewing task would definitely have to be unpicking. What is your favorite sewing task? My favorite sewing task would have to be when I am applying the facing to the neckline because that means my dress is almost completed. So that is my favorite part. Oh, and sewing in the seams because it just means I'm putting my garments together and it'll soon be finished. Would you rather get a bucket full of fabric or a sewing machine? It would probably have to be a sewing machine. I am looking into getting a Juki industrial sewing machine. I still haven't decided which one I want to get, but I definitely want to get one. What is your favorite sewing entertainment? I would have to say anything where I can hear something. It doesn't matter if it's the kids or the TV. I did listen to podcasts before, but I found it very distracting because if I heard something very interesting, I would stop what I was doing. I would go back to my iPod and rewind it and listen to it again. And that just kind of took out too much time from, um, from sewing. So I don't really listen to podcasts anymore. As long as the TV's on, um, I'm good. What sewing machine do you use? I use a Janome Gem Platinum 720 sewing machine. I love this sewing machine a lot. It is definitely a workhorse and it has served me well. The other sewing machine that I have, which is a serger, is my Juki MO654DE um, serger. So yeah, and I love this serger so much, which is why I am looking into getting the Juki industrial sewing machine. Do you have other hobbies? Hmm, yes, I do. I love to play the piano. I have not been baking a lot here in Korea 
because my pans are very huge and the ovens here in Korea are very small. So none of them can fit in there and because of that I have just haven't been doing much baking lately. Um, another thing I also like to do is I like to work out. I like to film my workouts and video my workouts and post them on Facebook. But however, I've been pretty busy with that and um, videoing my workout just takes up a lot of time. And so I haven't really been doing that lately, but I, I really love to do that. But yeah, as far as hobbies go, um, anything that has to do with crafts, anything that involves doing something with your hands, I actually really enjoy it. Does sewing run in your family? Yes, it does. My mom, uh, my mom sews. She used to sew um, some of my clothes when I was in elementary school. But yes, my mom does sew. And in the beginning, she did teach me a lot of the things that I do know now. So I'm grateful for you, mom. And I love you. So anyways, that is the seamstress tag. If you are a seamstress, and you want to do this tag go ahead and do it anyways that is it i hope you guys enjoyed my tag hope you guys have a wonderful one take care bye bye